So today we're hopping in the good old wagon, going for a little trip, pick up some car parts. So if you watched yesterday's video, we talked about all the parts that I wanted to change in Miley. Um, the car did very, very good, and I was actually very impressed with how well it did, but there are a lot of things we can change in the car to make it even better. One of those things being a nice set of sticky tires, which I actually found a set uh, 30 minutes from my house for a very good price. So we are currently on our way right now to go see these tires. They're a set of non-King NS2Rs. They're a semi-slick kind of tire. They're good for track day stuff or just normal driving, and they can also handle the weather, which I don't plan on driving Miley in the rain very often or at all if I can help it. But if we do get caught in the rain, they can't handle that as well. So that's very good to know. I think for my current level of driver skill and the performance of Miley, these would be a very, very good tire to start out with. I also know a lot of you guys recommended me go with the um, the Toyo R Triple Eights, which are an amazing tire for sure. Um, but I can't find any locally or for a good price uh, without buying them brand new. And they are pretty expensive tires. So I think for right now, I'm just starting to get into the whole track kind of scene. So spending much money on tires right now doesn't really make much sense. I think the non-kings and the price I'm gonna get them at is definitely worth it how close they are to my house. It's a very good starting point. Maybe later on if I get super, super serious about track day stuff and I need that kind of grip and level of like just crazy tire, I'll go with some Archibald Lates. But right now, I think these NS2Rs would be really good tires. All right, we are just about there. I'm like way in the back countryside. There's guys up here on horses. I don't know where I'm at. I'm trying to get tires. <laughs> These people on the horses up here. <laughs> How cool is that? Don't mind me. Enjoy your horses. Yeah, we out here right now. I'm trying to get some race car tires, guys. This place is cool, though. This little, like, town called Carlsberg, I believe it is. Like, in the middle of, like, all these mountains over here. Pretty cool spot. We have left the main road, and I'm now on this little half-paved kind of thing. Oh, yeah. I, I love these. Oh, we're making a left turn, I think. Oh, my God. Look at this road here. Am I going up this? Oh, God. It's okay. We're fine. Don't scrape. Don't scrape. Don't scrape. We're fine. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is an intense... Look at this driveway. Like I said, going to get parts in Germany is always a complete adventure. The destination is on your right. Love I'm not going to make it up that, actually. I'm going to stop right here because that's a big dip. And we're just going to... You know, here's fine. Here is fine. I said, going to get parts in Germany is all an adventure, and this is definitely one of those times. Got the e-brake pull. We're gonna leave the car in gear. I actually made it up that little section, and I didn't scrape at all. It's it's quite a quite a brutal section. Hello. Hi. Oh man. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit low. These are our tires here. Like I said he had them on his Miata, barely used, almost like brand new. So. These will definitely hold up a lot better than the current setup I have. So, awesome, man. Got the meaty boys all loaded up. Like I said, these are non-king NS2Rs. They are 205.50, so much, much wider than my current 185.55. These should do us very, very nice. Now we have the fun of going back, uh, back down this. Very carefully. Very, very carefully. You have to go as carefully as possible. Do my best to not destroy our front lip. Oh, I think we're doing okay. This is one intense little driveway. I think my mud flap hit, but other than that, we're good. We're gonna cut across real fast. Yeah, oh god, it's a giant bump. Very slow, very slow, very slow. Nothing scraped though, so that's good. Yeah, I couldn't do this on a regular basis. This is uh, this is pretty intense here. Okay, almost home free. Yeah, this is quite the intense little driveway setup here. Definitely not uh, not low car friendly. Okay, here we go. I think I might have to adjust those tires because that's squeaking. Yeah, that's uh, that's not gonna last for very long. Can't be having that. Okay, we got two laid down in the back here, and then I put two in the back seat. I cannot. The squeaking, <laughs> can't deal with that the whole way home. Let's get these bad boys unloaded. The entire car has that like fresh rubber smell and I love it. Look at these things. So excited to try these things out. Super excited for these things. Like I said, 
non-king uh, NS2Rs and 205 5015. We're gonna use these tires on the ATS wheels. The ATS wheels are just super light and I really did enjoy them. So we'll be swapping out the 185 55s that are on there now for a much, much stickier and wider 205 50. It's kind of funny, I actually found these so close to my house because I was saying before, I like the 205 50 that's on the Powertex and I wanted that size um, for these ones, but I ended up using those. But now we have 205 50s and nice semi slick. Let's get it. So, for any of you who are wondering, I paid 200 euro for these tires. They have a manufacture date of the end of 2019, so they're not very old. The guy had them on his Miata for about 300 miles, they ended up selling the wheels off the car, kept the tires, and now they're mine. So, I got a great deal on a basically brand new set of tires. Got us a little comparison line up here. So, like I said, we're on the car right now, we have the ATS wheels that are 15 by 7 in the front. This is a 185 55. You can see the width of the tire there they're not very wide but honestly they actually did have quite a bit of grip these are the tires here 195 45s i want to say that came on these wheels but they just looked a bit too small they probably would have had a bit more grip than these ones did but again i just didn't want to go with these tires at all so we skipped these ones these are goodyear eagle f ones i want to say probably not a bad tire but again just not the size i wanted to use here we have the power texas at 15 by 8. This is a 20550 um, snow tire. This is the tire that I wanted, well, the size I wanted to use for the originally. And then we have here, obviously, the 20550 in the semi slick. It's kind of cool to see all the variation between a uh, track based tire to a snow tire to a more streety kind of track based tire to just like an all season tire. But we're definitely moving up in the world. So, probably come Thursday, we'll head to the junkyard, get the 185s pulled off, and get the 205s mounted up and i'm also gonna run this video until tomorrow because i'm actually a day ahead right now which never happens but we're a day ahead so tomorrow we'll pull the ats wheels off and actually put the zobbers back on for a little while so i don't know how i keep getting so lucky and finding parts so extremely close to my house i was going through the german ebay like always i found this rear strut bar one of the ones that i said i want i want the rear sway bar with the rear beam and the strut bar that goes between the towers found this one literally brand new has the adjustable piece right there and then mount to the inside of your shut towers this guy literally lives in my town so i'm about to go walk to this guy's house at 10 o'clock at night and get this strut bar oh i love germany man i honestly can't believe we're about to walk to some guy's house who literally lives on my street that has a part that i want for my car the amount of good parts i found that's so close to my house is unbelievable. Don't get me wrong, there's parts like all over Germany, but like I usually search in about like a, a hundred kilometer range. And the amount of parts that I find that are just so close is amazing. I absolutely love it. So, so quick walk down the street and we'll have us a uh, fancy rear strut bar. All right, boys, we got it. Kind of hard to see, I'll show you when we get home, but there it is. How sick is that? Look what we got, boys, how awesome. I cannot believe I just found this literally in my town so so cool so this is a rear strut bar works the same way as the front strut bar that goes from tower to tower same thing for this one it goes in the back side of your car from inside the trunk from tower to tower and provides extra bracing so this side gets drilled into one side and then same for this side and there's a little adjustment right here if you need to make it wider or narrower but there it is he also gave me these little plates he had this and he tried to use it on his fiat but it didn't work so he made these custom little plates to go here if i needed a flat one but this works just fine and we're good to go so we got sticky tires today and a rear strut bar what a good day but with that we're done for today i will see you guys in the morning all right it is now monday i have the adapters out for the zobbers i'm gonna go through and clean up a little bit real fast sand some of this surface rust off and probably paint them black just to keep the corrosion from coming back um, but those are the adapters for the zobbers we're gonna pull the ats wheels off today get them all cleaned up and then ready for either thursday or friday putting the um the new tires on those wheels all i know is i'm super excited for our next trip to the ring i cannot wait to go back i still haven't decided where i want to put this sticker i'm thinking maybe on this glass here or maybe somewhere in the back maybe like the, the corner possibly or maybe i'll do one like the nurburgring one on this side once we do the hockenheim ring i'll do that sticker on this side over here it looks like it is about to absolutely pour which is uh super awesome the car is up about to pull the front wheels off and then go ahead and spray them down because there's so much brake dust on these things and then over here we have the adapters all set up and get painted and i'm painting these because you can see on the back side of here 
what when you have this in the car water gets behind these and it gets kind of corrosion back here but the main part is if you use adapters like this before this goes through here like this and what happens is there's corrosion between this piece in here and it gets stuck and it's a giant pain to get them back off so i'm going to sand them all smooth make sure they fits nice and easily and then paint them so no more uh surface corrosion all the wheels are off and for all season tires they actually did pretty well these tires are not meant for track use at all but honestly they held up pretty good as you can see it's uh absolutely pouring i got a whole river flowing through here so this way for just a little while i've got my first adapter sanded down so you can see the difference between these two here between all corrosion and nasty versus nice and clean and now this it should fit nice and lit, nice and easy so if it's smooth in there that's what you want. When there's corrosion on the side, it gets stuck and it's a pain to get off there. So now this is all good and sanded down. I'm gonna paint it and that way it stays like this and no more uh, corrosion. So one down, three to go. But as you can see, uh, I'm in no rush. No rush today. Took forever, but the adapters are now completely sanded and clean and ready to go. And now we can spray them. While these are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning off the wheels. And I'm just about out of wheel cleaner suck. There's a little bit left, so hopefully enough, but Andy, if you're watching this, I'm coming to see you soon. I need more wheel cleaner. I had just enough to spray each of the wheels down. So we got the pressure washer actually, so I can really go through and blast these things off and get all of the uh, the brake dust and grime off there. Go ahead and turn you on. Let's grab this. Be clean. And just like that, the ATS wheels are looking nice and fresh and brand new again. And since the pressure washer is out, I went through and I spread all the bugs off the front of the R32 and just cleaned the brake dust off the wheels. And then same for this car, I went through, sprayed the wheel well out and sprayed off the caliper. Just sprayed the last layer on the back side of the adapters here. So while these are drying, I'm going to go ahead and test fit my rear strut bar here. That way I can see what kind of hardware I'm going to need to actually mount it in place. So if you haven't seen it before, this is my trunk setup. Very, very basic. Just a nice little wood floor because I do use this trunk to put tools in here and all that kind of stuff. So just a basic wood floor. Air rights over here. Battery in this corner. And that's basically it. And then this brace is going to go from right here to same on that side. So right now I have it loosely in place. It actually looks really cool. I think what I want to do later on though, before when I actually mount it properly, I'm going to cut a hole in the carpet here to pull the carpet down. So this goes all the way to the tower itself. But for the most part, that is how to mount. I need to get hardware to go through here and actually bolt into the, um, the strut tower that's not too long because my bags are down here and we don't want to go pop any holes. That would be very unfortunate. So I'll have to find the right hardware for this. But I think once these little arms are mounted to here and both sides are on, I put like an Allen key or something inside here and I spin this out and it puts the tension on both sides. I believe that's how it works. I know you can loosen up these ones like this. I think you loosen both sides and then you spin this one either right or left and it pushes both sides out and makes it nice and tight and actually gives you some bracing. So I went through with my little uh, flat head here and I spun like this and just kind of cranked it down and now you can see that it's it's nice and tight nice and sturdy soon as we obviously mounted properly but that's how you do it i loosen up one and just spin it tight and now we have a nice fancy rear strut bar how cool is that all right at this point the wheels have been cleaned the adapters have been painted and the strut bar has been test fit the last thing to do for today involves these bad boys the zobbers are finally going back on the car one down three more to go all right quick little how-to if you've never installed adapters like these kind before so what you do this is our one two three and then this is my fourth one for the four by 100 pattern and then one two three four and this stud make it five by one fourteen so this piece here you want to spin in first sometimes it's a bit hard to spin it in there and I, before i would use a vice grip and grab and spin and spin and spin and then i realized i can use a bit like this to grind it here and you spin it all the way down that way you're not tearing this up and then this simply sits right over like so you can see one two three four then you have your 50114 like that and there's these little studs these ones that go in and hold the adapter to your hub and then obviously you have your lug nuts that hold your wheel to your adapter but that's how you do it you may need to adjust this left or right just a little bit to make sure the um 50114 pattern is right, but that's the easiest way to do it. From our track wheels to now our show wheels. Dang, dude, I forgot how much I missed these wheels. 
They look so good. Woo! My goodness, I forgot how much I love these wheels. And I know some of you right now are in the comments probably freaking out like, why in the world do you have stretched tires, blah, 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 the big lid, this and that. Listen, I know not everyone likes this style or understands this style, but that's okay. This is my car. I love this. Man, this car can go from, like I said, stancy car for car shows, track setup for the Nurburgring. It can do both. And my goodness, it looks so good. All right, I've got the camera. We're gonna go cruise to a nice little spot. Get a couple photos. Got us a nice little spot here between the, uh, the kick store here. I'm pretty sure this one closed down, but everything's closed. So I'm parked right in the center. Gonna air out, get some photos. Like I said, some people don't understand it, but my goodness, I love it. I'm also sitting on a bit of a bump right here because normally this side is a bit lower in the front. So I think I might move the car just a little bit. Woo, boys, it's been such a long time. So good. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. The Zawers are officially back on the car. We've got ourselves an awesome rear strut bar, and we have a nice set of sticky tires for the ATS wheels as part of our Miley V2 build before we go back to the Nurburgring. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.